Welcome back to the channel guys. Andre with Eagle Express and today TSA required load. So in the history since I've gotten my TSA certification which is Heading northwest on South Old PSH 11 toward Washington 904 West. In 600 feet, turn right onto Washington 904 East. Lieutenant Colonel Michael P. Now that's funny. That's funny because this it's so hard for me to get this on camera. I've been trying to get I've been trying to get that little kid's voice on camera since last summer and I couldn't do it. Every time the camera is off and I'm turning somewhere, it'll sometimes it'll come up to where it's talking like that. And then after you complete your turn or whatever, then it's normal voice. And I don't know what's up with that kid voice. Now I finally caught it on camera. So about the TSA. I've only been TSA certified for like three, about three months now, maybe, maybe two, two, three, somewhere around there. And I've done one load already that actually requires that TSA certification. They never ask you for your certificate or anything like that. They haven't. But when you do go into the airlines, they do make you fill out special government um, paperwork that you, you know, put your name on and sign and all that kind of stuff. So. My first load was a bit difficult. They were being hard on it, saying that, you know, I need to, I don't know, they were being a little weird about it. I had to sign and I needed to fill out some different things that I didn't know the numbers for and they didn't want to give me those numbers for them. Anyways, it was a little weird, but today that's what's happening. This load is picking up in Spokane, delivers to Spokane Airport. Never, I've done deliveries to Spokane Airport. I've done lots of pickups, never had to be no TSA certified. But hey, I guess there's a first time for everything. And this will be my second time. So I'll let you guys know exactly kind of what the, you know, what the procedures are. Um, I know they don't like to be filming anything inside the airports, especially in the cargo facilities. So it's, the camera is not coming with, but we'll see. I'll tell you guys exactly what they say about the TSA certification. That way you guys know what's up because a lot of there's only really out of our drivers i think two drivers that are tsa certified there's a couple that have their twit cards but that's not the same tsa is different so tsa certification i don't know this load they were saying it pays pays 200 bucks plus they were saying that they're gonna add a little more for the troubles of all this stuff the tsa stuff and getting rid of the they want me to basically take the box and get rid of the pallet so they're they're willing to add a little more to it we don't even give them a rate we don't even know what they're gonna add but I'll try to see if they can do like 300 on it and see what they say I think that's more than fair and at first they never said anything about TSA so they're lucky that there's a TSA driver here that's willing to do all this stuff let's go see what this is all about Okay, I'm here. He's gonna go check in at the shipping area, I guess. No food or drink in the area. I don't even know what this place is. I've lived here almost 30 years and I'm not sure if it's a new building or if it's been here. I don't know. By the looks of it, it could be like something pharmaceuticals, but I don't know. Never picked up from here, never delivered here before. Just as I thought. They do pharmaceuticals here. <laughs> kind of figured kind of by the building, by the security, by the, by the, just by the structure itself, you know. I've done enough of these kind of pickups throughout the country before to know, so I guessed it right. How's it going? Good. That's nice and light. Yeah. All right. You guys need anything for me? Signature? Okay. You want me to print? Uh, or? Yes, please. Do you need 
I think, well, I have one of these. Do you need this one? I, I do. Okay, I have an extra. I don't know if the airline's gonna take it, but we'll see. Is this a new place? What, this place? Yeah. No, we've been here a long time. Really? Yeah. I lived here 30 years and I'm like, I, really? I drove by here and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I guess if you don't need it, yeah, you know, yeah, you know what I mean. You don't. Those type of yeah. You kind of don't notice it until you're like going in. Though. Until you're here, yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. And then I'm like, huh? And it looks like a pharmaceutical, maybe. So then I asked the other guys, like, yeah, it is pharmaceuticals. Now we're adding on the lines. That building right there is new, and they're in the process of building another one in the back. Oh wow. Yep. So business is good then. Oh man. What do you get? Like pills or what is it? Vaccines? Uh, pharmaceuticals. Uh, Just anything. Sterile injectables. No pills. Oh okay. Never know, because I've been to some like weird places in Montana, uh, where they do even testing and all that. They, they got some high security, yeah. some high fences, cameras like on top of cameras. It's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so did you just uh, get this load? Did you just hear about this? So or this pickup? Because yeah, like, about they thirty. Came twice already, and we couldn't give it to them the first time. It was Why? An issue. The first time it was an issue with the with the drivers. I guess they. I guess they were mouthing off to our manager type of thing. So he's like, what? Get out of here. You're not taking our load. That's and then the second time, it, they came back in a pickup truck. And, we, and we're, we aren't sending this on a pickup truck, flatbed, so it's out in the open. <laughs> so then like an up, hour ago, yeah, right, is so, when so we got dispatched. Just called you and yeah. then it was like, we need to get somebody here immediately to take this. Yeah. Weird. That's weird. Ah, this is just the, the rates on the stuff these days you know trucking whole industry has been down so i don't know what people are thinking these days they everybody's trying to save a buck on whatever they can i guess i don't know you guys heard it all yourself i guess third time's the charm the gentleman said first of all first off somebody came in there mouthing off to them second time somebody came on a pickup truck third time somebody came on the right kind of vehicle and got the load and everybody's happy no mouth and off no nothing so you know they sent them packing and it's a shipper he's got nothing to do with anything really you know shipper is shipping the item somewhere hired a broker on this load and you know obviously things didn't go well for some reason so let's go get it done the right way for them let's go make a somebody happy customer happy getting some kind of a snowstorm or something you see the sky changing getting dark and all that supposedly we got snow coming I'm not sure how much of it but the weather's kind of colder I was hoping for spring already but no I guess it's not letting go today's March 1st so technically it's not spring yet But we're all waiting for it. Don't get me wrong, we're all waiting for it. Hopefully soon. Just about at the airport now, so hopefully the, the drop off will be quick and without any hiccups, because if somebody sets something up the wrong way, airport deliveries or pickups could be troubling and can take hours until things get figured out. But hopefully, Hopefully it'll be all quick because seriously, I you know what I mean. Cheap load, it's got to be quick. The reason why we, why I gave such a such a rate, I would probably want. Well, I don't know if it was a quick door to door, it'd be different. But airport airport stuff, dealing with airport, even though ours isn't that big and there's not really big lines out here still you know what I mean usually you can charge a little more for airport picks or drops and especially when you got to be TSA because there is hardly anybody's TSA certified so not sure not sure if I did the right thing or the wrong thing but the reason why he gave such a good price it was just to see because even dispatch like oh hey they're not gonna give you that load because they never you know they're not giving us loads anymore or haven't been for a while now so 
I'm like, well, I'm going to bid it for a price where they're going to, you know, we'll see if they give it to me. For that kind of rate, they should give it to me. And there they are. They gave it to us. So hopefully with the whole, you know, mess that somebody else made and we making it right and doing this right, you know, keeping the pallet, unboxing it, carrying it in without the pallet, hopefully, hopefully this is all they really need and we'll be all set and good. So here we are arriving right there. There's United right next to Southwest. Normally we do Southwest and maybe one time I've been at, what do you call it? I think only one time I've been at Alaska picking something up, but usually it's Southwest. Nobody here. That's weird. Now I'm headed to United Baggage and ticketing area because there, no wonder I've never picked up from Southwest. All parking vehicles over 14 feet. I'm not 14 feet, so I'm going. So here's our little way to the airport. Um, no wonder I've never picked up from United because uh, there's nobody there. Then there's a good sticker on there with the phone number that I called. Somebody answered, told me what are you dropping off. He asked me a bunch of questions, a bunch of questions. And then he's like, uh, maybe you need United. And I'm like, yeah, I thought that's what, what this was. And he's like, no, man, they can't take the sign down because it costs somebody money. So, you know, that's not United. They don't do United. United is not there. Supposedly, if you want United, then you got to go to the ticket and baggage and you know deal with them there oh man they're doing construction out here it's been a bit since i've been here they're adding on they're expanding <coughs> how about that yeah they're expanding for sure well i guess i'll have to use my my dolly probably and go find a parking spot park somewhere and then you know We'll see where, I don't know where, maybe here, because I don't want to go around twice. I think I've tried, like, no, not this one. Keep going. I've tried, I've tried parking before, kind of on the side here. Maybe they'll still have that way in there. That way I can put my van in there and just walk across, walk across the thing to the ticket service. Yeah, I can go to the left here. There it goes. So I can park here. Oh, I can't turn in there. Nope. Okay, I gotta go make the loop around. That's what this is all about. Made it made it difficult for people. It used to be that you could just drive on up through here and you're good, golden. Not anymore. <coughs> then you gotta pay to park right here. So yeah, you can't just leave your vehicle sitting out here. They're not gonna take it. Southwest. Where's United? Delta. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. Should I risk it? Arrivals. Baggage claim. I don't even know where they're at. Hourly parking. Okay, we gotta make the, make the big loop around. And then go to the United baggage. Deal with, deal with them there. Let's go pay for parking real quick. Space 81.
Ma'am, do you know if anybody's here from United? I don't know. Did you try knocking on that door? Yeah. Pound really hard. Okay, maybe they don't hear me. Yeah. If not, um, there's a courtesy phone that they can page somebody, but I usually just pound. Really oh, okay. Hard. If they're there, they're there. If not, right by the restroom is a white phone on the wall, and then you can have somebody be paged. Oh, okay. Thank you. Funny stuff, nobody knows. The flight departed at 1 something. 12.55 was the departure. So this is not going out tonight now. Now they're saying sometime tomorrow if somebody rebooks this the right way. And uh, that it should be brought in here about 4 a, by 4 a.m. Worst case scenario. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm still waiting on a call back from broker. I um, already talked to the contact who set this up, so it definitely is not flying out tonight. It's flying out maybe tomorrow, unless they're going to use some other some other company for this. But this is what we deal with out here when it comes to airport stuff. Maybe if the first people that got the, the got the job the first time, maybe if they did it right, they could have been okay and probably would have been flying out. But somebody's tried to pick this up twice today before me. And screwed the pickup up so obviously now the drop-off is messed up too so I'll keep you guys posted this is a fun one so far final word is come back at 8 p.m. and try to re-deliver at 8 p.m. and supposedly they're gonna be working on paperwork and they're gonna be working on whatever they gotta do so somebody can accept this at 8 p.m. because I told them I'm gonna need new paperwork, I'm gonna need new flight numbers, all that kind of good stuff. Because that's what the person here that I was dealing with told me. Finally, somebody came to the counter and we were dealing with it. But anyways, we will see, I'll keep you guys posted. Always, these short little ones, like I was telling you guys, need to be charged more because this is what we deal with. It's super, super sensitive stuff. That's super time critical, and when things are not done on time and brought here, and, and you know, and dealing with so many people involved, the big chain of, of events, big chain of command, people in charge, nobody's in charge, but everybody's trying to act like they know what they're doing here, and nobody's really, you know, at the end, nobody's really communicating between each other on the broker side here, because I'm getting. Uh, calls from various different people and, and, and then emails are actually other more different people that are not so I'm, I'm dealing with like three phone calls and besides those three still with three different people via email as well on this load so you get six people involved on the broker side and they are not all on the same page everybody has a different answer for me so I don't know for now I'm gonna try to see if I can only deal with one that's been on the phone with me that way it's a little easier to reach out, reach back and forth. But I also have the the other contact as well on the Virginia side as well. So <laughs> for now I'm going home. I told them, hey, I'm 15 minutes away from the airport. So 
when you guys figure it out when everything is done when new paperwork is given to me I have no problem coming back and re-delivering this so that's what I'm doing we'll get it done it just needs to be done the right way it needs to be reset up the right way Ooh, turn the heat on I'm cold well I'm going back home again for the second time today because I'll tell you why I came here at 8 again uh, place was closed same as before so then I came pounding on the door somebody answered said uh, maybe somebody will be here at around 8 30 and I'm like because there's isn't there a flight going out at 9 o'clock and the guy's like somebody might be here at 8 30 he didn't tell me much so I'm sitting around waiting and then the guy walks by that was there in the daytime today that was helping me out and he's like whoa what are you doing you're still here and I'm like no oh, I just came back over here for eight o'clock cuz uh, there's a flight supposedly going out and he's like there's no flight going out with United I'm like but you told me that there is and he's like well Southwest was going out tonight but not United and I'm like, well, maybe this is why they sent me because you told me that there's a flight coming out. So anyways, he's like, oh man, I'm sorry. He's like, I'm like, listen, if you know what's going on, tell me. So he said that if you want this package to go out, you bring it back tomorrow, anywhere between 3.45 and 4 a.m. Because the flight on it is like 12.55 or something like that. I don't know what it said on there again but anyway whatever cool pack or whatever they do something kind of pack they need to you know submit it earlier <coughs> that way it's all good then to bring it in early in the morning so I'll be back again tonight now for the third time to the airport so I don't know what this broker is gonna be doing they're gonna I'm, I'm gonna charge they're gonna have to pay because they ain't happening for free me coming back here three different times not good but yeah anyways this is where the there's barely anybody here barely this is our airport and you know we live in a small town under a million people so it's it's very calm out here not much going on especially at night in the daytime it's a little more busier here but at night nope Just wasting time out here for now. Making money to the parking bureau. They're the only ones who are making something off of me here. I didn't even use the bathroom and didn't even use any toilet paper here or paper towels. So, I couldn't even get my money back. See you guys in AM, I'll let you know. Welcome back, next day, next morning. Got a little bit of snow on the ground. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's snowing. So hopefully let's root for me getting empty today because I just want to be done with this thing and not have to sit a second day with it until they figure things out. So hopefully it won't take too long and I'll be empty and it'll be out of my hair. Maybe go home and get another couple hours of sleep if, if it'll be possible. If it's gonna take hours and hours or whatever or if I have to sit with it some more they gotta figure things out then my want for sleep will disappear oh beautiful weather look at this snow so it took me two hours to get unloaded I got there basically the the whatever this is since they're not a cargo facility it needs to be pre-booked and by the time it got pre-booked then I had to go back and wait in line then by the time they were doing something else the whole process took two hours good thing the best good thing is that brokers customer I had brokers customers number and was dealing with them since yesterday so in the end the best thing that happened is that he was able to pre-book the whole you know the whole what do you call it luggage thing for it and it did go out so 
if it wasn't for if it wasn't for him i don't know how long i'd be there because the actual broker broker nobody in there um e whatever there is almost 10 people in that email chain are not answering they're still all sleeping or who knows what they're doing but nobody's answering from any of that so i'm unloaded i'm almost home and the whole process took well since yesterday 3 p.m i was on site and this long you know what i mean 3 p.m until 5 30 a.m the next day that's how long it took god bless you guys take care see you next time and if you can please comment at least something doesn't matter what it is if it's a good comment bad comment leave me a comment in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet until next time